What's up guys, it's your boy Gong. Welcome back to another ARC video. Um, in this video, we're going to be doing some kibble stuff. We're going to go out to Redwoods, build a tree platform, get some sap, and start prepping more towards having kibble. I know the settings on my server, there's no need for kibble per se, because feeding, um, feeding the dinos with um, raw prime or raw, um, raw mutton actually imprints at 100 percent but what i want to do is make it you know just show you guys how it, it should be done correctly or should be done on like vanilla servers and all that stuff but before that i wanted to create some dye i want to add some color to my life um i think it's it's time for me to get some color in and you know kind of add to my um my character a bit i guess so i'm gonna do the colors of the flag of where i'm from which is jamaica so black gold and green or black yellow and green before that i think i do need i need obsidian okay cool let's just grab the obsidian from here let's grab that one stuck right so we have that um let's go ahead and I need charcoal, so let's get here, turn you off, pull some charcoal. I think I probably should have gotten another stack of yellow. Let's go get some more yellow real quick. Um, <laughs> let's get one more stack of that, put that there. So I actually just learned how to do this. I've never done this on any other in any other time playing Ark. I like I've been saying I, I haven't played Ark even though I've been <laughs> even though I've played Ark, I haven't played it in that capacity. There's certain things I didn't I haven't done. And uh making die is one of them. So let's put two stacks of that in there. Let's get two stacks of you in there. And I think I think that will give me what I need. Um, where's the charcoal? There you are. All right, so let's put a charcoal in there. Let's turn that on. Let's see what happens. All right, so green, black, blue, yellow. Okay. All right, let's just make a bunch. Did it, did it stop? Did it stop? Yeah. Okay, let's turn that off. So let's get, let's take the yellow out. Let's take the black out. And let's take the green out. So first off, let's do the here. So Xbox, this is how you do it. So you get the scissors, equip it in your hotbar, select it, and then you press the left trigger. Brings the menu up, easy enough. Um, first off, what I want to do is, I'm gonna set the here to, to braids. I, for some reason I like that, I don't know why. I'm gonna set my hair color to black. And then facial here. Let's do default. I don't like that one. Let's do yeah, let's do the default. And I'm gonna put that in yellow. That that seems acceptable enough. And then hit accept. So now if I the orbital, let's see if that worked. Yep, there we go. Alright, so next step is highlight this color here. Let's start dyeing the clothes. So let's go over here first. So let's do RB, rotate it back this way. Um, select the yellow. Let's put yellow there. Let's apply that. Let's select black and put it region one. Yep, let's do that. Let's do green in. Yep, that region right there. And I think the rest of it was yellow. Just there. Yep. Um, let's do yellow there as well. And then the last region, which is there, let's do yellow as well. All right, so I think that looks about right. So let's go ahead and exit that and now let's go ahead and color the hat beard doesn't really look yellow does it all right so let's start with region one 
I'm gonna leave that in no, actually I'm gonna put that in green. So apply paint. So just four. Okay. So let's do that part in black. Wait. Wait, what? So that's green. Let's do that part in let's get the yellow. Let's do that part in yellow. Apply paint and then let's do black in that part and I guess region four as well. Yep, that's the both of those in black. Apply that. Alright, let's back out. Um get yellow paint again. So basically all I'm doing is selecting the color with A and then going back over to the arm and pressing A again and it brings up this menu. Then I hit A to apply the color I need where I need it come down to apply paint then it does it so let's get black in region 5 let's see what that looks like okay I think I like it let's get that applied and then green in region yeah um, do I like that yeah let's just leave that as is actually let's do the majority in green so let's swap where the yellow is for the green and then the black stays where it is, and then the region six gets the yellow. To apply for that green in region one. That's where I want that. That makes sense. All right, cool. That looks good. Let's go to selecting the paint one more time. Boots. I don't think the boots have more than one region. Wait, it has two regions. So let's do laces in yellow, and I'm gonna do the shoes in green. Green, apply, apply. All right, one last thing now is the gauntlets. Let's get the gauntlets colored. Put that there. Gauntlets. Now these only have two color areas as well, so I'm gonna do black for. No, I'm gonna do black for region one. Let's hit apply, and I think I want to the green for region two. I think that's how I want it to look. So let's see how dapper we look. Um, how does it look? Right, I think I need to. Ooh, that's actually not bad looking, huh? Man, I can, <laughs> you can definitely tell I'm Jamaican with, with, with this get up here, huh? All right, so yeah, let's 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 get back to it. So that's basically how you do, you know, painting off your armor and here and all of that stuff. Let's switch that out. Oh. Is that a blue drop in my base? And there was a blue drop over here too, huh? Let's go get that blue drop. Where is Argon? Argon, where are you at, dude? You're right where I left you. All right, so I'm going to get some loot drops and um, get some water first before I leave this base. Or else I might die. Drop, drop down. Alright. Now, now I'm hungry. So let's eat. Yeah, so let's hit some loot drops. Um What else was I supposed to check out? Let me go get this 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 blue loot drop over here real quick first. Why are you so slow? Okay, so there is no blue loot drop over there. I guess I was seeing things. Okay. My brain isn't working right, guys. All right, let's actually take a look at what we need for the platforms and for the um, for this, the the um, the the tree sap top. So that should be in. Let's do structures first. Metal. Did I even learn this in Grammy? I did. Okay, so I need fourteen hundred cement in paste. Well, a thousand cement in paste. I need. That's what. 1500 metal which is not i have that metal that's easy to get and then the top where's the sap let's see let's see if we can find that if i can craft this now i'm just gonna go ahead and craft it all right let's so let's just go ahead and craft that one so mission is cement and paste all right so let's go get that part done and i'll bring you guys back once we have all that taken care of all right so before i head out there's also one other thing i wanted to do which was to I wanted to build a taming pen. Um, I don't have one close to the base, and I, there are dinos in the area, or creatures in the area that I actually do want to tame, like, for example, a beaver. 
So I'm going to go ahead and craft one really quickly. Um, it's, a, it's just a basic, basic taming pen. I think it is a, what's that, 3x3. Three three. And then I'm going to do it with um, walls. No, get with doorways instead of walls. So if it's 3x3, three three, so I need 1, 2, 3. So that's what? I'm going to just build as much walls as I can build. I can't bother to do the math right now, to be honest with you. All right, and I'm building it out of stone because that's the most durable, just in case there's anything, you know, big I, I want to bring over or whatever. I can make 23. Let's do 20. Let's do it right here. Yeah, and I don't think I'm going to put a ramp or anything, so that's just a basic drop-in pin. Um, there are many dinos around here that I'm going to have run up. It's just like I'll use the RG here to just, you know, pick them up. Oh, you have levels yeah i'll just use the rg to pick them up and um let's get that up to 2000 and then get your melee damage up yeah so that's what that's what basically is for just to pick the dinos up drop them in tame them in there and then take them out we're looking for cementing paste so we found a i found a spot that actually has um quite a bit of spawns of um, beavers and dams and stuff like that so let me just show you real quick so you have that waterfall over there, and then you have one, two, I think three beaver dams down there, but two beavers. So basically, on the map, this is where it is. Um, GPS location is 41.5 by 68.1. And I mean, there's, there's a few down there, but that's just still another location you can find beavers and beaver dams. So I'm gonna continue hunting on these dams and um yeah bring you guys back in when we're going to be building those platforms and all right so i know like a few seconds ago i was on my way to get cementing paste and all that stuff and you know whatever whatever else to build up the um oh my gosh my brain has been paused the tree platforms and stuff like that. While it's been just a few seconds for you, it's been quite a bit of time for me to the point where um, they've released Fyodor and all that stuff. So, for example, you see me with a Desmodus here. That's not the Desmodus. That's the Desmodus. So, that's the reason why you're seeing all of that. So, within that time frame, I also have been having issues um, leveling up these guys passively. I have to take each one of them out and do all kind of stuff. So... I'm going to try a few things before I get to the tree platform. I am going to go get some, I think I have some in here, some rare flower. I guess I don't. All right, so I have 94 rare flower. What I'm going to go and find myself is a few Lystra swords, because apparently they, are, they help with passive... Um, Passive leveling up, and hopefully that, that actually works. So let's get that done and bring you guys back in. And it won't be another billion of months before it will be within the right time frame because I'm actually going to, you know, push towards the end of this series, especially now with the good news that um, they actually added an ascension scene to Scorched Earth. So I'm going to be doing Scorched Earth after this. So that's a change in plans for the whole series, which, you know, I wasn't going to do Scorched Earth and blah, 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 and hippity hoo ha and all that kind of stuff. So let's get some Listros. Let's see if those actually work better with the, um, with the healing, not the healing, I'm sorry, with the leveling up. So get to that and bring you guys back. All right, so I tamed up a few Listros. And it actually does help, and it and it's not as slow as the um, just having them sit. It actually works a little bit better. I think I've gotten like five or six levels so far. It takes a, a while, but again, it's better than passively doing it with, with, with just them sitting there without having the um, listros. So as you can see, a lot of these guys are already, you know, they still have some levels to go on them. I want to get them up to about 20 or 30,000 health and then melee you know somewhere in the region of like six seven hundred and that should be good enough i'm still on the hunt for a um for a good saddle blueprint if i get a good saddle blueprint that would be very good 
and from there we can get the boss battle going. So it's time to get back on task of getting cement in paste. I think what I'm going to try and do f initially is maybe try find a high level frog tame that up to see how much cement in paste I can get that way. Um, I know I'm going to need polymer for a lot of stuff. I actually do need some now, so I'm going to look into getting some polymer um, from penguins maybe. So let's go through and start getting what we had planned initially done and get that squared away. All right, so I've been out here for quite a bit and the highest level I've found so far, the highest level frog I've found so far is a level 100. And it is, is that it? Where'd it go? All right, there we go. Can I even hold him? All right, so before I knock him out, I wanna see if I can get what he needs. He takes regular kibble, I believe. Um, let me check that for sure. Yep, regular kibble. So I'm gonna see if we can craft up regular kibble, which we should be able to. All right, so there's already fiber in here, so let me see if this will work. Give me some regular kibble. I'm getting die. Oh, there we go, we got regular kibble. So for some reason, I don't think I can use a, a long neck. All right, let's just see. It's five shots. Okay, he is out. Guess I was wrong. All right, so he's knocked out. Let me go get the um, the kibble now. So it's, it should take eight, but I, I think because of my settings, it may take less than eight. So I had, like I said, I had four. I just made four. So let me see if the four will work. Uh, can I get in here? Yeah, I can. It's probably going to instant tame off one. Yep. Yeah. Alright, dude. So you're a 149. Um, let's go get you a saddle. Let me take back my cable. Alright, so I headed to this hill here on the map. Right here. Um, in the south zone there. And if I remember correctly, you know, previous times I played this game, there are a bunch of, um, like, ants and bugs up here. So I'm going to just browse around for a little bit, see what I can find. I actually found, like, two or three before. I hear... I hear... I hear a fool. Oh, he's right here. What level are you, fool? Hello? If you're a high level, I'm taming you. Hello? No, I know it's not a fool, but you know. Nah, you're not high enough level. You're mate boosted. Where's the other one? I'm getting so sidetracked. Alright, let's stick to the mission. We need cement in paste. That we need a crap ton of it. Um we've collected that's what? So that's 1,200 plus 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. So 1,700 is what we've collected so far, it seems like. I think we need to get a whole bunch more. So I'm going to look around here for some more bugs and stuff. And um, hopefully we can find some. And they're true dons. I don't like true dons. Let's go this way. And yeah, as you can see, I, I um have the have the RG following me, so that's like some level of defense right there. So I'm I feel a little bit more secure, not a hundred percent, because it's still you know fairly dangerous out here. You do have trudons, you do have carnos and stuff like that. The carnos I'm you know more than capable of handling with the um with the RG, but trudons I don't like. I don't like trudons. Yo, where you at, bro? Hello? It's just a tree, Aragon. It's just a tree. Come on, bro. Come on. There you go. Ready? Let's go. Alrighties, let's see if this is where we craft it. It is where we craft it. Alright, so we needed... 1800 metal 
we needed 600 fiber and um, 1400 cementing paste so let's grab the cementing paste off this dude all right i think we have enough now to make it um yeah do we need one i mean i can only craft one so let's craft one and then i need is it tree top let's see Oh, I already have one, but I think I need... Let me just craft one more. Just because. Um, let's grab that there. Ooh, now we have to head out to the Red... I'm going to go and do this in this video. Let's go ahead and just head out to the Redwoods, get this done and over with. And then call it an episode. Where's Argon? But I'm just going to put it on the first... Did I take it out? I don't think I took it out of the smithy. But I'm going to put this on the first tree I see. I don't care if, you know, as long as it fits, then that's where it's going. I, I don't care. All right. Uh, platform saddle. And I already have the tree sap. The tops. Top. Top. Mm, do I not have, where did I, what? what? Let's just tie it. Oh, there we go. It's in the top. Okay. Uh, it was in the top of my inventory. I didn't even see it. Argon, where are you, bud? Uh, you're over here, right? No? Where? Hello? Oh, there you are. Alrighties. Let's get this done. See, Redwoods is... I guess everywhere in this map is dangerous. I guess I just have to stop being chicken. I'm actually put this put the um, platform in one of these hot bars real quick. Where is it? Hello, where are you? Dude, I hope this is the right thing. What does it say? Metal tree platform. Okay, cool. It is it should be the right thing. Let's put that there and head for one of these trees right the, the first trees we see right here get it attached to that and then get the, the tree sap tap in and hopefully we can start collecting tree sap because i think it's it, I, I think we have to be in range every time for it to work i'm not sure so let's see if that's how it works and it's like over here is deadly like i said dialogues all of these things um we have to be very careful in doing this as well because of the Tylos, the Tylos. So let's hopefully not get pounced on. I don't have any armor on. It's like, it's almost as if I don't learn from my lessons. So let's see. We're on the edge of Redwoods right now. I don't see any Tylos on any of these trees. I'm hoping that I can place it on one of these trees. All right, that worked. Um, let's see if we can place the, tr the the top. I've never placed one of these things before, to be honest with you. So let's go here. Let's get this in the hot bar. Boom. Boom. Okay, and how does it work now? Access inventory. Um, let's just chill out here for a few seconds and see if I will. A few minutes and see if. Um, let me see also see if we can actually get some tree top, um, some sap from it. Um, do I have a? Yeah, I do have. All right, so I'm gonna place this here. Boom, just like that. This is all I need, right? It says zero off one. What does that mean? All right, so I'll put that box down there. All 
wonder how long it's going to take to actually produce. There we go. We have some sap. So it does work. Okay. I mean, it, it does work in a relatively short space of time. I think it's like 10 to 20 seconds. I'm going to just take that out really quickly. Get that one. And get this one right here. Yeah. So it works. So I think I'm going to go craft me some more of those taps and just place them down. So, I completely forgot the reason why I wanted to do the tree sap. It wasn't only for Extraordinary Kibble, it was also for um, the Sweet Veggie Cakes, Akatemas, uh, Akatina, Snail, or whatever you want to call it. And get, you know, I started to wander and get cementing paste. That was the whole reason for doing it. That still was going to be the source of cementing paste. Now, here's another dilemma I have. I swore I had a... Um, a beehive i really thought i had a beehive i guess i don't so now i have to go out i think i did have one any which way you look at it i have to go get a, a bee and um and tame it again i yeah i'm gonna go see if i can find one of those and get another beehive here and start getting everything i need to do the sweet veggie cake that way I can go tame my Akatina. By the end of this episode, we can actually have some good source of cement and paste. So I went out looking for um, beehive I could, you know, damage to a certain point and um, get the giant bee to come out to tame, but I couldn't find any. So what I did was just gather as much honey as I could. So the next step is to need to make all the things that are necessary get all the things that are necessary to add to this stimulant where because let me see something um yeah because i need stimulant in that recipe for the sweet veg cake so where's stimulant all right let's just type it in dododex is the is the boss bro all right so stimulant takes Stimberry and spark powder. I could have sworn I actually did that. Chem bench. Let's see. Alright, so I know I have, I guess I don't have stimulant. That's easy though. Let's go and get some stimberries from our Branto and craft up what we need. Hopefully, he has stimberries. All right, so two stacks should do. Let's eat some food really quick. Let's get that, that crafted. I do have the, um, it takes also, let's see. The sweet veggie cake actually takes four sap, two giant bee honey, rock carrot, sava root, uh, long grass, and stimulant and fiber, which I have everything else except for the stimulant. So let's get the stimulant crafted right now. Do I even have spark powder in here? I don't have spark powder in here. So let's let's craft some spark powder. I can only do four. I thought I had spark powder somewhere. I 
have no spark powder anywhere. How much of these can I craft? No. 14. Um, let's just do it. Actually, that gave me a hundred and something. I don't know why I thought that was just 14 minutes. So let's take a stack of that out. Um, does this already have rock carrot roots in there? Sava root. So I need rock carrot, long grass, and the hunt, the bee. So let's take, how much does it take? It takes two per sweet veg. So I want, I'm going to stay, I'm just going to take all of these. It's going to spoil anyway, so why not use them and i also have the saps because i went back to the, the redwoods that's where i um that's where i went to go see if i could find the bees but i didn't i didn't find like i said i found the beehive but i didn't find any that i could damage in no well not damage enough but any that were that had bees in it i should say i'm here fumbling over my words um where's the stimulant i didn't create the stimulant did i no, I just took the spark powder out. Right, so let's put this back in here. Let's go to consumables, drugs. And let's create all the stimulants we can. We have 66. How much does it take? It takes four. Um, all right. Let's just, like I said, let's just make what we can. Where's the stimulant? Where is the stimulant? Right there. Let's turn you on. Let's see if we can get some sweet veggie cakes. Yep, we got one, two, three, four, five, six. And I think that's it. I'm going to take these out, though, and put them back in the um, the fridge. How long does these last? These last an hour. I I'm, I'm, I'm should be able to go find me a, um, a snail real quick in, that, in, in, the, um, in the swamp. All right, let's see if we can get this taken. Let, let, how long does it last in my inventory? Hello? my game froze yeah and i think this is going to push me way back all right so after all of that um the crash and everything i actually lost it it started me back out where i only had like six um six bee honey and the hives i went for before the crash they weren't there anymore so i just took what i could get and um got four sweet um, sweet veg cake so now i'm gonna go out to this swamp area which i surely love so much and see if i can get me an acatania or a snail whichever one you want to call it and then from there i'm gonna see the best way i can have it on roam and see how much um cemented paste it produces i think maybe after this what i'll end up doing is a best way to get cement in paste video by far the easiest way is reading the um beaver dams but based on what i have heard the most consistent way or most economical way i guess is taming up a, a snail and um and have it on roam and it should produce cement and paste is what it says is what all this the wiki and stuff says that i have read so let's see if that's the case i'm gonna stick some veggie cake in this dude if i can find one i bet you know that i'm looking for a snail there's none close by like we had we saw like 50 million of them like earlier in the in the playthrough and i bet you there's probably none right now so me go find me a snail hopefully there's one on the, the outer rim here because i really really don't want to go into the swamp too far so let's see all right so we have where i think we have the snail in here in our taming pen let me get this dude out of here because i'm like confused and stuff can't see what's going on land bro all right so he's in here it doesn't look like he can get out all right so let's stick a veggie cake in him and see what happens wait what how, how do how, how, i got the, the 
Nope. It is not. How does it? How do you tame these guys? Is it a knockout tame? Uh, I don't know. I've never tamed that snail before. I thought they took sweet veggie cake, though. Am I, like, not doing this right? Akatina. Sweet veggie cake. It's a knockout team. I don't think I can knock this dude out without killing him. Ah, uh, boy. Um, I didn't know it was a knockout team. I really didn't know that. Can he get out? So I'm going to try this one more time with a rifle. There we go. All right, dude. That worked way better than the... Um, God damn it. <laughs> than the arrow did. I didn't know it was going to be like that. Let's put the veggie cake in him. His food is draining really quickly. I'm going to actually take... Oh, there we go. He's tamed. Um, Let's take... Let's accept that. I'm going to take the rest of this food out so you don't eat my rest of my veggie cakes. I'm going to... All right, so let's set this dude's behavior to wandering. And let's see how long it takes for him to get um, cement and paste in him. In the meantime, I'm going to run over and see if I can get more, more of these guys. All right, so I went out, got another one. This one's level 45, so I'm going to pop two shots in him. Or maybe just one shot in him. I'm going to go get my veggie cake really quick because these dudes, they actually lose food and torpidity really quick. And I put the veggie cakes back in the fridge because I didn't want them to spoil while I'm out there hunting for the, the Akathena. Just in case like it took me forever to find one. Um, so based on everything I've seen, these guys not only produce cementing paste or Akathena paste, which is the same thing. They also produce polymer, but the rate at which they produce polymer versus the rate at which polymer spoils, if you're not constantly digging their inventory, you're not going to get the polymer. So, And it's organic polymer. I should specify that out the gate. So let me go ahead, pop a veggie cake in this dude. Um, shouldn't take too long for him to, to be tamed up. Where is he? Uh, access inventory. And then, where's my cakes at? Alright, so he took one as well. So, I'm going to whistle one stop. I'm going to behavior and enable wandering. So, he'll start wandering. So, if I take a look at this dude now. I left him for maybe five minutes. I have six um, Akathena paste, which is six cementing paste, which is not bad. Also, I do believe that they leave like droppings. Like, here you go, this is one right here. So, that is that's cementing paste, and that's one Akathena paste or one cementing paste. So, I think if we have a few of these guys roaming around, we should be able to produce quite a bit of um, cementing paste without even having to worry. The only downside to that is we're going to have to constantly. Have, what was that? They're mating. Um, let's disable mating for now. It's, it's, it's not enabled. What? Why? <laughs> I don't understand. All right, so let's just, oh, there we go. There's another cementing paste right there. So I figure if we sit here, I'm going to actually build a different pen for these guys to where I can actually see what's going on. So I think that's going to be it for this episode, guys. If you guys did like the video, please go ahead and hit the like button. If you want to stay up to date with what's going on, please go ahead and subscribe. If you guys have any tips, comments, suggestions, or want to see me do anything specific, please go ahead and leave the, a comment below, and I'll get back to each and every one of you guys. Thank you guys for your amazing support. Thank you guys for watching.